We're running an Olympic-based strength program here. Uh, we come in four days a week. And during the off season, we came in three days a week during fall ball. And really how we have it set up is just a really intense atmosphere. We do everything. We do hand cleans. We pull from the floor. We don't use any machines. Uh, we really try to put the guys in positions that they're going to be throughout the field um, in athletic situations. That way we can mimic the things we do on the field in the weight room. We lift every day after practice, so we're already pretty warmed up and, and stretched out and ready to go. So we're working on things that, that people don't really notice, things that are going to help us in those 60 games of the season that are going to keep us healthy and, and able to carry on through with your legs, uh, flexibility in all your joints, elbows, uh, wrists, and uh, ankles, and, and shoulders especially, especially for baseball. Our strength and conditioning program is a huge part of this, uh, this baseball program. It, it, it develops so many things off the field that carry on to the field, and one big thing is mental toughness. Our mental toughness is so important in, in college baseball and in winning. Um, and it, it teaches you how to handle adversity because a lot of times when we're weightlifting you're doing things that you really don't want to do and there's times on the field there's things where you're uncomfortable and you really don't want to be in that situation so weightlifting really incorporates that for our team what we do like to create in here is uncomfortable situations for the guys mental toughness is a big deal um, really just putting the guys in situations that they're not comfortable in being in because we, the more uncomfortable situations we create in here, the easier become, they become on the field. Ren really pushes us and he, he makes us uncomfortable. And if you do that on a daily basis, you get used to being uncomfortable. And that really builds your mental toughness and it translates into the season, especially in the postseason when things are on the line and every pitch is do or die, you really need to be mentally tough. Not only does our strength and conditioning program um, develop mental toughness, but it also has been very rewarding, even as a coach, to see these guys make gains in the weight room. We've had three guys gain 10 pounds or more. There's also been uh, you know, 10 plus guys that have increased their 60 yard time um, from a seven to a six, seven, six, eight. The biggest goal is just to get stronger for most of us and then other guys have other goals of gaining weight and gaining flexibility, getting faster for the position players. and It's just, uh, just going in there every day with your goal in mind, step by step, just getting it done. The title belt was something you know, Coach Duncan came up with and signified to our guys the best effort of the week. Uh, it was given to me and we, we, we would decide each week whether it was a freshman or a uh, you know, fifth year senior. It really just signified who was putting in the most hard work. It was kind of a reward for those guys and really something that they battled for each week. The competition belt, basically given out to the guy who goes above and beyond everybody else. Basically the lifter of the week, the guy who who obtained all of his goals and who pretty much outdid the rest of the team for that week. Not saying he's better than everybody else, but just the, the guy who had the best work ethic. That's just an area where guys can be guys and you can really just let things, let, let it all out and uh, you know, do some things you wouldn't normally do in public or do, th do some things you wouldn't do on the field, but that, that shows guys on the team like a different side of you, but a side that they want to see your competitiveness, you know, how mentally tough you are, like I already said, and uh, how strong you are and, and also it's, it's a trust thing when you're in the weight room with the guys it's just you guys and you're you're competing against the weight the coach is putting you up against or or what you've built up to do and really pushing yourself to get out of your comfort zone and I think that's what that's what makes a team go you, you build a team in the fall and the winter and then you carry on to the spring they have to rely on each other's back to keep a to keep going they can't if they see one guy slack and they realize how important it is to keep him going because we reiterated it throughout the whole entire offseason that no man can be left behind. So they always had to pick each other up. We've got a high expectation here of, of continuing with the status quo of winning conference championships. But not only winning conference championships, going ahead and competing for Omaha, which means we're winning regionals and winning super regionals. And it's so important to do that um, and, and take care of business in the weight room. Uh, so that carries over that work ethic, that team bonding. Because you go into a weight room and you see these guys pushing each other, there's a certain bond that cultivates in a weight room and it's so important and we, wanna, we want that type of culture to carry over to the field. Team on three, one, two, three, two. Oh,